guys. This is Super Review Show for another episode of Rock Talk. This is the show where I break down albums and whether they have anniversaries or the music is just that good, you should definitely check it out. Check this out. And here I am talking today about the one and only album by this famed group that is only known for one album, Derek and the Dominoes, Layla. This album is from 1970. It consists of one of my favorite songs in the whole wide world, Layla. It's in my top 25 songs of all time because I've never heard anything else like it. This album from start to finish, it's the only album that Eric Clapton did with Derek and the Dominoes. It had, like, the members of the band are Eric Clapton, Bobby Whitlock, Jim Gordon, uh, Carl Rattle, and Dwayne Allman. And, like, they... Eric Clapton, before he went solo, he kind of like just did stuff on his own. Uh, no, so he was in a bunch of. So, no, he, did stuff, he was he, did, he was in a bunch of groups. He was in Cream. He was in Derek and the Dominoes. He was in Blind Faith. I have, I have their record as well. Their only album they've ever done. I also have. Uh, he also did. Uh, he was in the Yardbirds for a little bit. Like the guy has been around the block, block numerous times, but this album in particular, Layla and Assorted Love Songs, is an incredible, incredible LP. Um, it has the his single Layla. It has Bell Bottom Blues. It has Have you Have you ever loved a woman? Like there, tell the truth. There are keys to the highway. There are some really, really good songs on here. It's actually the only album they ever did, but it was a double album too. Here's the cover, as you can see there. Here's the back with Eric Clapton's guitar on the back, and here is the. I'm gonna be careful because I literally just got in the mail today, so I buy a lot of these of, of eBay. Here is that. Hold on. There's the album right there. There's the inside of it. The one album that they ever did is Derek and the Dominoes, and I have a copy of it. I'm a vinyl collector, guys. Just letting you know. I suppose some of you may know this for a while. Um, this album is really, really... It was received mixed at the time, like mixed to negative reviews at the time. Like, oh yeah, Eric Clapton's trying to form another super group. Whatever. Sure. But sure enough, this album... Showed that, but this is right before Eric Clapton went solo with his slow, slow hand album. But this album is fantastic. It consists of the seven minute t title track, Layla. Layla is one of those songs you just you hear it on the radio from time to time, like on FM or XM stations. And because it was such a big hit, and yet it's seven minutes long, right? It's, it's seven minutes and 10 seconds long. Truly a work of art, truly an incredible album. Um, I love that song a lot, but that that one song led me to get this album, and then I've I've, I've obviously streamed it from start to finish on Spotify or whatever. But that, that, that thing, if you cannot order vinyl, I recommend Spotify. Finally, listen to Adele. Thank you, Adele, for having albums um, play start to finish. If you're paying for premium, you should listen. To it. Don't shuffle it. This is an album I recommend you listen to from start to finish. It's about it's a double album, which means there's seven. 10. There's 14 songs on this album, but they're all great. I mean, they're all incredible records. They are incredible songs that are just sitting on albums like this where it's really good quality stuff, and yet no one's really ever heard of it, which is very unfortunate because it's, it's that good of a record. Um, Eric Clapton still plays Layla live. And speaking of Layla, a lot of people know, a lot of people prefer the uh, acoustic, uh, the acoustic version from, um, his unplugged album. I, I like that one quite a bit, but I'm a really, really, really big fan of the electric Layla from this record in particular. I'm a big, big, big fan of that record in particular. I personally love that electric version. The piano outro is so beautiful. It's so elegant. It's some of the best sonic architecture I've ever heard on, on any song ever. And I've listened to over thousands of songs a lot of the time. Where I got that time, I don't know. But Layla is a really great album. If you have not checked it out, please do yourself a favor and stream it on Spotify from start to finish. It's a really strong album. And it's the only, only album by Derek and the Dominoes. It's the only, 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 only album they ever did. Eric Clapton made like another super group and then it disbanded. So that was unfortunate. Um, I'm actually going to leave a link in the description of this video a an Eric Clapton story like radio interview without him on it though, uh, from 1972 or three I want to say maybe 74, um, 
but it's it's a radio, it's a guy basically telling the story of Eric Clapton, uh, from his story and it, it, but the songs are all muted out because YouTube thanks YouTube for your copyright infringement crap, um, but it it tells the story of how Eric Clapton got up to this album and he went from there. But it, it does talk a lot about about this album in particular, so it's really good. I, I'll, I'll check it out. I will leave a link for that in the description of the video, so you guys check that out. It's by a YouTube channel I really like called Raised on Radio. The, the guy's from the UK. It's really great. Um, but yeah, so Rock Talk, are you a fan of Layla? Have you heard of this album in particular? Jump down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts on this video, on this album, whatever. And keep locked on the Super Review Show for all of your Rock Talk episodes. Keep it locked. J-Man, it's off to work. And we'll see you guys later.